Embattled Ford Kenya boss Moses Watangula continued to run into trouble after his planned grand entry into Bungoma was cut short. Anti-riot police lobbed tear gas to disperse Watangula's convoy in Kandui, blocking him from entering Bungoma. And as Chemutai Goin reports, leaders continued to lead the pack of those defying COVID-19 containment measures at a time when the country's caseload is rising exponentially. Despite claims that he had notified authorities of the intended meet the people door, police were here to stop Fort Kenya leader Moses Otangula's grand return to his stronghold in his trucks. As the convoy wound its way into Kamukuya area, Bungoma County police charged. Lob tear girls to disperse an eager crowd that was building up. His supporters protest the police falling on deaf ears. The officers keen on ending the celebratory tour. Roadblocks erected forcing Watangula, who was accompanied by community legislator Chris Omalwa, his Kimilili counterpart Didmas Barasa, Mumia's East Member of Parliament Benjamin Washiali, and Mungoma Woman Representative Catherine Ombilianga to abandon their vehicles and walk to his home. The leaders blamed their trouble on the simmering Western Kenya politics, but insisted they will not be intimidated into supporting leaders they have no faith in. We even informed the county commissioner and the police commandant of Bungoma that uh, we are not holding any public meeting. We are holding no rally. We just passing and waving at our people as we come to my home. I want to warn our brothers, the policemen, let them know how to use that tear gas correctly. You don't use it on the innocent people. They have applied unnecessary force in Kamkuya, injuring so many women and children who are just alongside the road, waving at us peacefully. If anyone wants to talk or to work with the Mulembe nation, they should look for a Tangula and Musalia Mudavadi. And we want to tell the doubting Thomases, we want to tell the forces of darkness that have sponsored Whatever has happened today, to the Even as they complained of police harassment, the bigger concern is their blatant disregard for social distancing and other health standard measures, such as wearing of masks and ban on gatherings imposed to contain the spread of COVID-19, which has permeated even the rural counties. The question that abounds is if leaders are preaching water and drinking wine, what message does this relay to common Kenyans who are expected to adhere to the containment measures? Chimutai Gwen, Citizen TV.